Hey, you know the drill with WooCommerce, you have a single product, you click on it, you like it, you add it to cart, you might get a notification to tell you, do you want to continue shopping? You go to the cart, then you go to the checkout, and you hopefully convert and complete. Now, a lot of us don't like the ooh-ha with how many screens there are and how you have to jump around a bit. Wouldn't you love to have just like a one screen solution? Let me be clear, I know you're gonna say, but there are solutions out there, there are other plugins and other bits of kit, but I'm gonna show you how to do something quite inventive with just Elemental and WooCommerce all on one screen. Let me show you what we're talking about. Over here, we have a page, we got an image down here, and by the way, what we have here doesn't really matter, it's what we have at the top. This works really well when you have like one, two, or maybe three products, and it's really, really simple. Even better when the user doesn't have to select their um, how much of quantity they need. So you might be selling courses or downloadable products where they're only ever allowed to buy one. We have an image over here, we have a title, we have a description, we have some text, 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 and we have a button. Not a button, a video, sorry. So what I'm showcasing is stuff about one course or one product. And we have an add to cart. Watch what happens to this page when I click add to cart. You're on the same page still, okay? You've, you've bypassed the cart. This is the checkout on the same page. If I now wanna, if I hit it again, I mean, it won't allow me because you can only ever buy one, but now I can complete. I can go in, I can add in a coupon code if I want. It's the normal checkout page. I can then, you know, do what I need, hit the place order. Everything is on one page. How many times do I have to say that? We are on one page. We're not going over to a single product page. You could do that if you want, but if there's only so many details you need to say about the product, this is fine enough. You could even have a pop-up over here to say more details, you click that, a pop-up slides in to now tell you more about the product. You could even have a hover option as well. You hover over it and more images or things blow up in your face. But what I'm trying to get across is this is an entire one-page solution with no extra plugin, all built with just Elemental and WooCommerce. Let me show you how I did it. Let's start with a really quick, simple bit, the product. Let's just go in over here. Now, what is key, obviously, is if you do set an image and you put in your description, you can have whatever you want. Because what I'm gonna show you on the single page is gonna be whatever description we wanna add. But if you are gonna ever have like a products archive page, make sure you fill that out. But the key bit is just down here. Whether it's virtual or downloadable, make sure you go to inventory and make sure you limit this to be one purchase per person, for instance. Um, if you do wanna allow them to have variation, you can do, but you know, you can keep it really, really simple. The second thing you wanna worry about is your WooCommerce settings. Now, you can do what I'm gonna show you here in the advance, where you go and um, uh, assign the cart and checkout page to be the same page where we're gonna stick everything. Mine is called Elemental Page 11. I know, kill me about it, but that's where it's gonna sit. So you could do that here, but you could also do it on Elemental as well that I'm gonna show you. But the most important bit is when you go over to products here, where it says add to cart behavior, you wanna say redirect the cart page after successful addition, okay? So basically you wanna do that there. So when they add the item, it automatically then kind of jumps into the checkout page, which is on the same page. So let's look at the pages then. And this is where it gets really, really simple. We actually have three containers on here. Well, everything I'm showing you, you can do with sections and columns as well, but we're using containers. First thing though, if you go to the hamburger, go to site settings, uh, if you scroll down to WooCommerce, you gotta make sure you got Elemental Pro as well. Do you remember I mentioned the cart under checkout? It's actually easier to do it here because when you try and do it in the WooCommerce settings, sometimes once you've assigned a page, in this case, Elemental page 11, I know, very inventive, to a cart or a checkout, it doesn't always let you assign it to the other one as well, whereas here you can do that really, really quickly. So what do we have here? We got container number one that contains three child containers. In the first child, we have an image, literally just an image. In the second one, we have a header, text, and more text. Now, this is what I wanna get across. This is not dynamic. These are just three, this is just text. However I wanna add it in, whatever I wanna write, I can do what I want. Now, if you've got more than one product, you could do um, like dynamic tags, you could use a loop grid, you could put the loop uh, grid carousel in as well. So please don't feel that you have to follow this method, but you can be quite inventive with it. I mean, in container three, we got text, we even have a video as well. 
So if you imagine you're trying to convince or portray what is the benefit of the product. And then over here, we have the custom woo add to cart button or whatever it's called, custom add to cart. If I go over here and I type in cart, it is basically this one here. You drop that in, you click it, you go and select your product, which is why you gotta make sure you got the product created. You could also show the quantity if you so wanted. I mean, I didn't really have to do that here because I'm only allowing you to buy one at any one time. A container number two is just the checkout widget. So if you go over here and you are again using Elementor, you've got the checkout, you just drop it in. You can stylize it however you want. It's got loads and loads of funky features in there. You could decide if you're gonna have it by one column or two column. I think the two column approach works really well for what we're trying to achieve here. But it is pretty, pretty simple. Obviously, you're gonna make sure everything looks really good on the mobile. Now, container number three is just an image. I only put that in there because you don't see this checkout bit until you've hit add to cart. Remember I showed it to you earlier. So down here, whereas I've got an image, you could have put in more text, more videos, more images, more whatever you wanna put in, testimonials even. So when you get to this page, you got items at the top, items below, you hit add to cart and then something else appears in the middle. That's what's really good about this. I didn't have to add in any funky CSS or anything like that. This bit will appear once you've hit add to cart, which is why I was like, wow, this is a really neat little thingy or whatever I'm trying to do. And that's basically it. But there is one little thing you should do. Let me show you what would happen if you don't use this one little extra little bit. So we're back on our page. I'm going to hit add to cart and then the cart appears. But did you notice this little bit over here? How to start a course has been added to your cart. Do you want to continue shopping? Now, when you hit continue shopping, it will, I mean, it doesn't actually take you to the product archive shop page because I haven't set that up. But what it kind of does is it, it adds in an extra little step, which I think is annoying. So how can we get rid of that bar that appeared? Really, really easy. Just go in and add in a snippet. I don't know why it says show sale there, okay, but it's meant to say remove that bar, okay. Code snippets, it's free and easy, okay. Go and install it, it's a fantastic plugin. Um, all you gotta do is drop in that code there. And the link to that will be in the video description, but that is literally all you pop in. So when I now go and save changes and activate that, and I now go back in and hit add to cart, we don't get that little green bar thing. So maybe you don't wanna have that for other shops, but what we have here, and this does work by the way, because I've tested it out, okay? Um, I've set this up to be direct bank transfer so I could test it out, put in the details, boom, 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 boom. It all goes through absolutely fine. So we have condensed the product, the cart, and the checkout onto a single page. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, with the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag.